And now to the war in Ukraine. More than 500,000 refugees have now fled the country during Russia's ongoing invasion. That's according to the United Nations. New video from today shows Ukrainians in train stations in Poland and arriving in Romania as well. Now, this is now the fifth day of fighting, with both sides still going strong. And despite the number of refugees on the run, Russian military forces are having a difficult time reaching and taking the capital city of Kiev. So this video shows the destruction of Ukraine's second largest city. And despite all the damage, the Russians still have not been able to take control of the city that's southeast of Kiev. If you pull into the urban area, it, it makes it very hard for the fighting to happen. It's 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 the nightmare scenario. Was retired, that was I'm sorry, that was retired Army General uh, Major, Army Major John Spencer. And he's now one of the nation's top experts on urban warfare. Yeah, Spencer spoke with News for Jacks reporter Eric Gavigny. is joining us live to explain why one of the largest and strongest militaries in the world is struggling against the people of Ukraine. Yeah, Spencer says it doesn't matter how big a force you have, even if it's the special forces. He says the second you send uh, those soldiers into an urban area where the armed uh, locals know all the hiding spots to shoot from, uh, it makes it a lot easier uh, for those soldiers to become easy targets. A scary sight as Russian tanks continue moving forward during the invasion of Ukraine. This is all about Russia trying to get somewhere. And those tanks, they're all trying to take the capital. If the capital falls, it's over. John Spencer is a retired army major who did two tours in Iraq and is one of the nation's leading experts on urban warfare. He says the Russian military may be one of the largest and most powerful in the world, but when it comes to invading Ukraine, those same forces are finding it difficult to take over the country because Ukrainians are showing no signs of backing down. First and foremost, they're fighting um, and they're all fighting. So the military, the reserves, and now you, the, the whole population, which is can be a would be a nightmare for any military in the world. And that nightmare is called urban warfare. Spencer says there is no safe area for Russian troops in urban areas where the locals know every nook and cranny of the city. Any window could be a bullet coming your way and, and there's thousands and millions of windows and alleys. This is different than waging a war in the mountains, desert, or any area without places to hide where a military force can use satellites or drones to help ground forces zero in on the enemy. We call the urban areas the great equalizer because today, no matter where you live, if you stand in the open, you're dead. But Spencer says from a tactical point, civilians defending their cities have to be more careful when ambushing Russian troops because the last thing they want to do is give up their hiding spots. This is also why Spencer believes Russian forces have increased the number of missile and rocket attacks on buildings. He says Russian military leaders are likely rethinking their ground strategy. Back here live now, Spencer says another thing helping the Ukrainians is the is their president who not only chose to stay in the country, he did not run to another country, but to stay there, but is also uh, posting these daily videos on social media. And he says those videos are giving the people hope, enough hope to uh, go up against a powerful military like the Russians. Reporting live, Eric Avenue, Channel 4, The Local Station. Eric, did uh, Spencer mention why all those Russian vehicles have the letter Z spray painted on them? Yeah, thank you for asking that because that is a very interesting question. And yes, he did. So what we found out is that both the Russians and the Ukrainian military, they both have the same type of vehicles and tanks that look alike. So when they when they spray paint that, when the Russians spray paint that Z on their vehicles, that lets them identify uh, who is uh, who is a friend and who is an enemy. Without it, they'd be they, they could potentially be shooting their own people. And you can imagine how confusing this might be from the air when you figure when you consider the fact that both the Ukraine and Russia air forces use MiG and Sukhoi jets, so it's all the same. All right, Eric Avenier reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Eric.